Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I have a pretty watercolor card. This one is gold heat embossing along with watercolor. And I'm gonna show you the steps that I used. Now I am using three stamp kits by Unity Stamp Company. Life is Rosy is the background stamp of florals. And also So Kind, So Caring, So You, and Special Wishes. Those last two are sentiment kits and also called front and center stamps. So now I began by uh, stamping onto watercolor cardstock on the smooth side of the cardstock. I am going to stamp in watermark ink and that I just tap lightly because I just want the raised area to get the ink. And then we're going to heat emboss so that you use embossing powder. I chose gold embossing powder over that and you just sprinkle that on top. You prepare it with a powder tool first to make sure that the so that it has like an anti-static uh, resistance to it and then you go ahead and you, once that powder is on the watermark ink you heat set it with a heat tool it becomes beautifully golden shiny ready to add watercolor. Now, if you're gonna use Copic markers or something like that, you want to color first and then emboss. So now I went ahead and die cut this out into like a background shape. And I prepared it with a little bit of wax paper first to help, uh, to help make the dies less gunky and messy with that embossing. And I just like to do that. It also protects the raised area of the embossing, I think. And so now I am going to begin by adding different variegated shades, uh, starting with purple and darker purple. And then I go into lighter purple and sort of a teal minty color of um, I'm going to accent that. And I will eventually blend them together a little bit just to get it more of variegated colors, sort of like stained glass, if you will, but it's watercolor. So now I just go ahead and I'm sorry, I had to speed it up a little bit for time. It did take a while. You just want to take your time when you're doing it at first to just stay within each of the different shape areas that, um, that embossing uh, provides like a little well in there for each different section of the flowers. Just go ahead and add color and dab color where you think you might want it and in the shades that you want. I chose this uh, turquoisey color, more of a teal and purple this time. And so I just use a water a watercolor brush mixed with water and, and move the color around. And, you know, watercolor is not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I blend until I get the look I want. So now I'm starting to go ahead and mix or blend and let, let those colors meet. So I add, like for instance, I'm adding blue there and then I mix it and blend it in where it meets the, the purple. And you just continue doing this section by section till you're happy with it. And at the end, I added even more water just to help blend it out a little bit smoother. You can add more color also if you feel like um, it, it's getting washed out. Just add a little bit more of the concentrated color. And then if you want it lighter, just add a little water. And as, as long as it's still wet, you can move it around and change it. Once it dries, it's real hard to change. You can add color, uh, another layer of watercolor if it dries. So I just tried to get all the water coloring done before it started drying in this case. And I just didn't mind if, if the colors blended where they meet. I like the look. It flows nicely. Now there's a little bit of area um, in between the flowers and I just added some gold color, like a dark yellow, just for accent. I heat set that using a heat tool. You can also leave it out to dry. And that's what it looks like when it's dried. So I use foam tape in this case to fasten it to the card the card base, which is a white A2 size card base. I pre-stamped 
the sentiments and trimmed them up with a paper trimmer and scissors and added a foam tape behind those sentiments as well. And um, I used the butterflies from one of those sentiment kits and fussy cut them with scissors and colored them in Copics to match these colors. I hope you like it and give it a try. It was really simple to do and it took a little bit of time, but it was real fun. I hope you like it and take a moment to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.